but I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return, I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by, he said, take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant who has 10. But they said to him, sir, he already has 10 coins. He replied, I tell you to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Holy Gospel is one of the most important teachings on the spiritual life. But at the same time, it is one of the most misunderstood teachings. In this Gospel, we recognize the generosity of God. He gives us gifts. He gave these servants ten gold coins. Everyone receives from God's goodness. All of us have received something. But Jesus teaches that we must return something as well. We are stewards of God's gift, not owners of them. And the Master expects us to use our gifts here, in this, in this, here now in this life. But this is where it is misunderstood. Most of us use the gifts God gives to us. I think everyone here uses those gifts. We raise our families. We use it for work to provide for our families and for ourselves. We use our, the gifts of our business expertise. We use the gift of teaching, whatever, whatever it might be. All that has been given to us. But here's an important question. Am I using my gift as fully as possible? Or am I willing to risk everything to use the gift God has given to me to help others, to invest? That first servant did just that. He invested that coin and got 10 other coins. Now, he didn't keep some of those coins for himself. He gave all 10 of them back to the Lord. The second servant took his gold coin, made five more. He didn't give one to the Lord, or the king, rather, and keep four for himself. Both risked all the coins and gave, uh, the coin and gave all the return back to their master. They were completely selfless, not keeping anything for themselves, not saving, holding back some of those coins that they made for a rainy day. We've, we've not always been as selfless with the gifts that God given to us. We're talking about detachment. Now, I'm not expecting everybody to, to take all their, clean out their bank accounts and give the money to the poor or whoever. But we have to be detached. If the Lord requires it, we freely give and without complaining if a situation comes into our life. We are called to love God to the maximum, and those who do so will be holy. And that's why in the parable, this parable is crucial to the spiritual life. Because Jesus teaches us that we should love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our strength, and all our mind. We are to use all the gifts God gives us all the time. If we hold back, Jesus says, he will take away what we have been given and we will live in spiritual emptiness. But we should never be afraid to risk everything for Jesus. Those servants had one coin. It was a very expensive coin back in those days. But they chose to risk it because that is what the king had required. Do, it, do what you can with it. And they did. St. Rose Philippine Duchesne, who we, who we recognize today in our Mass and remember, she, she prayed this. Let me bring all I cling to that I may offer all, burn all, consume all, keeping back nothing for myself. O divine love, my very God, accept this sacrifice which I desire to offer you at every instant of my life. Jesus has promised to care for us. We're not to worry about things. Remember in the Sermon on the Mount, he spoke of the birds of the air and the lilies of the field. They neither sow nor reap, but they're all taken care of. As St. Paul reminded us in Sunday's second reading from his letter to the Thessalonians, we are children of the light and to live as children of the light. If so, we're willing to risk everything for Jesus and to love God to the maximum. 
be compassionate and forgiving with all our heart, soul, and strength, willing to be the last now to be first in the kingdom. What we give, we give what is most important by letting go of what we have. St. Rose Philippine also wrote this, we cultivate a very small field for Christ, but we love it. Know that God does not require great achievements, but a heart that holds back nothing for itself. The Lord rejoices when we use the gifts that he has given to us, using them for his glory and honor and to help other people. So don't be afraid to surrender completely to Jesus and his plan. Because if you do, when he returns, the Lord will say to you, well done, good and faithful servant. Come share in my joy. Let us stand now and in trust and humility offer to the Lord our prayers. And what are your prayers? Lord, hear our prayer. 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 For the repose of the souls of Ed March and Manny Arce, and for all of our deceased relatives and friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for the prayers that remain in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord we ask for Mary's intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the blessed rose Philippine Duchesne, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love. 
and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our bishop, John and Ramon, his assistant bishops, with all the clergy, the religious, those consecrated to your service and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, St. Rose, Philippine, Duchesne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Jesus 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of of St. Rose Philippine Duchesne, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks, everybody, for braving the uh, little chilly weather today. Thanks to those of you that are sitting warm at home and on your couches. A bunch of slackers, I think, huh? Anyway, we have Adoration Blessed Sacrament right after Mass, concluding with uh, benediction at 1145 today. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.